Oh, I did forget. Whoops. I'll fix that right now. Oh my goodness, falling like a tight. There we go. <laughs> I completely forgot. <clears throat> Got to change the game. Oosh. Got it. There we go. Problem solved. Get my hellos in a moment. Oh yeah, you did get your Twitch up. Good. Proud of you. Alright. So as you can see, we're playing Dynasty Warrior 6 Empires. And of course, we're going to be playing with Wu since uh, we're red. And I thought this would be pretty fitting for uh, uh, Muso. I thought this would be pretty fitting for um, Christmas and everything. Happy Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. I know this isn't exactly Christmas Day, but I'm actually going to be having a video come out on Christmas Day. Because uh, I'm going to be spending the morning and everything with the family and everything. So, no no stream at least on Christmas morning. Probably maybe at night. I might even do one tonight as well. Maybe on Minecraft just for a chill. I was thinking of doing Minecraft today, but I, wanted, I didn't want to do a chill. And I woke up really, really full of energy. So, yeah. So, we're going to play with... The Christmas Warriors, known as Wu, who wear red and sometimes occasional white, if you're Zhou Yu, at least. So, that's what we're going to be playing with. We're going to be playing with Sun Tse. Wu, don't you mean U? Oh, East? I thought you meant Weast. All right. Let's go. All right. So, first things first. What the hell am I doing here? We got... I. So, I decided to use... Oh, we can't really get much here. So I decided to use uh, some of the resource or some of the things that you could use with the bonus points that you can get when you like beat a story mode and everything. So we're playing this on normal difficulty because I'm pretty sure I don't really have much of anything on these characters. It's, it's like the Wu side at least. Yeah, they're they're all like, oh, actually no. So Tseng Sheng, I think, yep, she has a level 10 weapon. So she might be one of our go-tos here, but we're going to be also using, of course, Sun Tse and Zhou Yu as well. Happy birthday? It is definitely not my birthday, but I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Yeah, let me say my hellos to y'all real quick, because I like to do this separately to acknowledge you all. Uh, Nikki, Arcane, Arna, Amy, Kristen, Kuru, Lenny, Brandon, AJ, Orochi, hello. I was going down the list. That's why I did a pause there. Uh, okay. So, obviously, if you all know... Woo, we got to start with the Wu territory. This is what Sunsei was best known for. So that's what we're going to try to do. So obviously I can't really purchase anything right off the bat, which kind of sucks ass. So I'm kind of leaning towards actually maybe playing a Sunsei Sheng to start this off to make it easy on myself. Yeah, let's 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 at least let's play a Sunsei Sheng first. Why not? Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Alright, so weapon, yeah, so she's she's pretty good on that. Uh let's have the red hair. Let's have the red hair. Just in case I need to go around. I'll probably be actually no, I'll be pretty slow, so yeah, that probably will be necessary to have. Alright, so where's their main camp? Alright, it's at least in the castle. I know sometimes it's not in the castle, which is kind of weird. But uh Oh, that's right, we can use old music. Alright, we'll do men of intelligence. There we go. The enemy strong, but I All right. like is it going to be Tai Chi C, I think? Yep. All right, so this is probably the best Follow case me. scenario here. He's inspired the enemy troops. Proceed with caution. Good. Thankfully, I me? have the damage and the uh, the range. Never mind, I'm getting hit. God, one hit and I'm already in yellow. She does have a small health bar, though, to be fair. God, her freaking attacks. Good lord. 
Get out of my way. Get out of the way. Woo! And again, remember, I'll be sure to try to... When I'm in tight situations, I won't be looking at the chat as often. But uh, once tight just eats out of the way, I'm sure I'll be able to uh, read, read the uh, chat. So just give me a minute. Once I, Let me get rid of the big threat here. All right, looks like the guys are at least making their way over. Okay, that's good. Nope, nope, nope. We got double back. Hold on. That does some pretty okay damage, straining the health a little bit there. He's almost dead. Almost there, guys. Hold on. I'll be able to read the chat in a moment. All right, we're good. Can you play Samurai Warriors 2 Extreme Legends? I was never able to get that as a kid. I'm hoping to get a copy of SW2 for my Series X when I get one. Yeah, I was actually planning on doing a Samurai Warriors uh, video at least before um, the new year happened. Because as you all know, I'm probably going to be doing some different content every now and then on the new chan on on the new channel uh, during the new year. Oh, that's going to look dangerous. So uh, we won't be getting Warrior stuff as often, but I'm still going to be doing Warrior stuff. So don't. And there might be moments where I do actually feel the need to, like, or feel the want to do uh, a majority of Warriors videos. Like, it's going to just be, like, I'm basically just, like, in the mood of, like, instead of just, like, trying to make it so, like, I feel like I have to do this. I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want. If you guys watch it, cool. If you guys don't, it is what it is. You know? I want to be able to enjoy doing this. That's what I feel like I've forgot to do every now and then. That's why ever since I got this new PC, I was making it a goal, like, all right, I'm only going to do stuff when I really feel the need to do it. Or not the need, the want. When I feel the want to do it. That's what I really need to care about is, is if I want to do it. Like, today, I was like, I feel like I need to do Minecraft. But I was like, you know what? No, I'm going back to that mindset. I'm going to play some Dynasty Warriors because I actually want to continue the hype train for Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires. Because, you know, granted, they haven't given us anything for uh, Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires in terms of news or any of that stuff. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make the hype train myself. And I've been enjoying the hell out of, like, playing all these, like, Empires games. Four was rough, but this one, uh, like, I think so far, I haven't really played much of seven either. I played, like, a mission of seven. I was like, interesting. But um, I haven't really played much of seven either, seven empires, so that's going to be a new thing for me as well. We but um, it's just, it's been so cool going, like, I've been excited to play Warriors games again. Because like, we've been doing this, like, train of just, like, going through to different empires games. And we'll also go to Samurai Warriors empires as well. But uh, I feel like maybe we'll start with the Dynasty Empire stuff, and then we'll move over to Samurai Warriors Empire stuff. So I'm assuming we might have some time before Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires comes out. Because at least, that's what I think. Because normally, at least like maybe like once every month, when Dynasty Warriors 9 itself came out, they were like revealing characters, showing us like new screenshots and everything like every month until the game was released. Uh, and this, in Dynasty 9 Empires, I mean, they could be showing us like the new maps and everything, more like combat and all that stuff, and like how the siege battles are going to be. But they haven't shown us anything. So I'm trying to make my own hype train. I hope you guys have been enjoying these uh, streams. And uh, if you are, you know what you could always do to show your support? Just a simple thing of clicking that thumbs up. And it'll let me know that we should do these uh, hype train stuff more often. Because as a result, we could always go back into other campaigns and stuff. For like six empires, five empires, or so on. Uh, four empires, no. Because four empires actually only had one scenario. But, uh... Yeah, if you want to just show the support, you're to do that. Move out. Her moveset's very good. It's it's okay. It's easy. I'll say that. It's easy. I know a lot of people weren't hot on this outfit, but this is still probably one of my favorite designs of hers. Uh, I can understand where some people were like, it doesn't really suit her, and I do slightly agree with that. I just like the outfit in general. The design itself is really, really good. It was definitely not something I was familiar with in terms of Shang Shang because obviously she had like, like she didn't have this kind of like, kind of hairstyle. She didn't look too feminine, but like in this game she definitely looked a lot more girly than more tomboyish. I get there's still some tomboy in there, but I get what some people were complaining about. Away in the lab with a uh, nine empires. It's like this wasn't in PS2. Yeah, I know um, we might actually play the PS2 version of Dynasty Warriors 6 because I don't have uh, Extreme Legends. I don't know if they ever did Extreme Legends. Uh, I'm assuming maybe it was for like maybe PS3 or something, but um, I know the PS2 version of ow, of Dynasty Warriors 6 had like some Extreme Legends content, like Ma Chao's story mode and some other people's story mode that weren't in the base games. 
for like the Xbox 360 or PS3. So I'm gonna try to maybe stream that, like emulate that and everything, and be able to stream maybe like Mod Chow Story Mode or something that some some one day. I don't know when. Yui Ying's Blade Bow, it's a good mix of melee and archery. Yeah, I do like hers as well. I used hers a, a hefty amount in this game back in the day. I even like hers in um Eight Empires as well. Alright, let's give some orders. You know what? I think Zhou Yu can defend that armory while Han Dong and I go attack the supply base. Let's have, um, well, Sensei needs to be safe, so since I think we'll leave Sensei where he is. Who's already going in there? Who's ignoring my orders? Han Dong. All right, I'll just have him protect me then. Did I confuse you with Arcade? No. Arcade was literally one of the first people to comment on the YouTube side. Safa fits her persona for this game, and I think she's portrayed pretty well. Uh, but they kept the more girlish portrayal of her. Uh, but with the more tomboy clothes she's known, and it's weird now. Yeah, yeah, I see what you, I see what you're saying. I'm about to die, guys. This is bad. I might have to retreat from the supply base after this. I need to like actually melee my way out of here. Woo! We're good. We're good. Don't touch me, please. Man, I blame Hundung. He wasn't even here to help me. Oh, I got red hair. I forgot. Please get on the horse. We're out of here. I need my upgrades. I hope there's a uh, item in here that I can use to heal myself. I missed it completely. Well, let's take out this uh, officer while we're here. The thing about Sensei Shang right now... What? I'm the one who killed him! Alright, so you, I see how it is. Is, DW, is DW6 the first game where Sensei Shang is all like, oh, Liu Bei? Um, she was a little bit like that in 5, if I'm not mistaken. I think you mostly see that, like, maybe in her story or something. I don't remember too much, but I think she slightly is like that in 5. That or I'm thinking of like the original Warriors Odochi's where she actually kind of there were in Warriors Odochi too she was with uh, Liu Bei instead of with the Sun family. But uh, yeah, this is probably the one where they like really really went off with it. But yeah, after like this this really was an interesting like Sun Shang Shang to me like. Honestly, after, aside from this game, I don't even remember what her uh, English voice was in this game. In uh, Dynasty Warriors, like eight and se eight and nine or seven and nine. Good lord, seven and eight. I can't speak. All right, get away from me, fiends! A lot of you. I haven't really kept up with Sun Shang Shang. Like she was cool, but I didn't see her to be the most interesting of characters. Like she's here, she fits she fits the uh the vibe and everything for the Warriors games, but she was never like a huge fan favorite of mine. Like she was fun from time to time, but like I was never really like super hot on her. I feel like she's a character who's just here to just fill her role and then just call it a day. I don't need that. Excellent. Alright. Will do. Will do. Get your ass out of this. This is my supply base now. We got two of them. Alright. Nice camera angle there. Got this game on your PS3. It's a fun game, man. I really, really like this. This Empires game was definitely one of my favorites. The base game sucked, in my opinion. But, uh, Six Empires was really, really good. The Rambo system was officially gone, which was one of my biggest gripes. Uh, I kind of wish they brought in duel. Like, apparently duels are in this game, but they're very, very rare. I kind of wish there was more of that, and I do kind of miss it. They, I kind of wish that they, like, like tried to experiment with sieges in this game, because the sieges in the base game were fabulous. But um, if they were able to put, like, cool sieges in here, like, for instance, we have a castle right here. There could have been a siege battle right here. 
I feel. Are you coming to face me? I think that would have been really, really cool to be able to, like, have, like, a siege battle go on. But that's just my personal opinion. Like, they could have tried to, like, experiment with this game, with the sieges, and probably, like, maybe done them with, like, uh, seven and eight empires. I think that would have been really cool. Because now they're doing it with nine empires, but this is their first time doing it. And I feel like six, since they officially, like, introduced siege battles into this game, in the base game, I feel like they could have tried to implement it in empires. That way we could have, like, been able to experience it more often in um, seven and eight, and then maybe they would have it more fleshed out in nine. Granted, we don't know what nines is going to be. Like, maybe they're going to make it just like how six empires was, or six, the base game was for sieges. Because I know they said sieges are going to be, like, a uh, like a hot thing in this, uh, in this new empires game, which kind of scares me, because... Uh, nines siege battles were terrible. Koei Tecma wanted Sunshang, uh, be more girly. They could have made her hair longer, in my opinion. Well, no, I don't think they were trying to do... I think they still wanted to keep the tomboy vibe, like, in terms of appearance and everything. But still have her be, like, maybe have a girlish kind of, like, personality as the games went on. Why they decided to go that route, I have no idea, but... They did. But yeah, I don't think they're, they were trying to, like, make her look... Like, she was. she's always meant to try to look tomboyish. Like, even in this game where she doesn't look at that much, she still is, like... She still has the vibe of a tomboy. I think this is where, like... Like, I still feel like she has a tomboyish, like, vibe here. But, like, I feel like this is where it kind of, like, started, like, going a bit down in terms of her, like, personality being it as well. Like, I feel like, in my personal opinion, I don't think her personality changed that much. She just became, like, more, like, glorifying towards Liu Bei and everything, as does apparently almost every character in the in the series. Because he's just apparently oh so perfect. Freaking snake. But, uh... Personally, I don't... Like, aside from just being more lovable towards Liu Bei, I don't really see too much of a difference with her. Like, when it comes down... Like, she's being more wifey and everything in terms of, like... Especially when Liu Bei's around and all that stuff. But after that, she seems to be pretty much the same, in my opinion. I don't think she's changed that much. Like I said, she's just, she still feels like that kind of character to just, like, fit the role and everything. She she does her role okay. Well, in, in, in most Siege Battles in Dynasty Warriors 9, you can't even use the grappling hook. All right, first battle's in the bag. We got so much money that I can't even use it. It's so harsh. But we should be able to use something here now. Oh, we can use the forge. Oh, and training. Training's more important, uh, in my opinion. You here? All right, do that. Uh, do that. Get that one up. That. And that. Uh, We don't need that one right now. I kind of want to save a little bit of money. I don't care about that either. You could just... I think you could spam the, the swim button, or the X button in this game to swim faster anyway. I'll get those two, You're and then we'll stop there, time. and then we'll go to Forge. Let's upgrade... Yeah, let's upgrade Sensei since he's our, want, our ruler. Come to the right place. Okay, that should be fine for now. Got to level 7, which is good. Anytime. And then we'll work on Joe Yu afterward. But, uh... Oh! Nope, let's not do that. <laughs> Alright, guys, we conquered that area. Now let's give up the land. There's someone else. These are the other ones I did do, or... Minus the South P one. I probably should have just saved over South P since I'm not going to get that one. Oh, well. Life goes on. Yeah, Chan arguably played the most important role in the Three Kingdoms saga compared to the other female characters. Dude. So, I don't remember the last time I talked to you guys about um me watching the Three Kingdoms. But I haven't watched it in like probably like a week or two now. But, oh my god, I have no troop strength. I forgot about cards! Um, but, sorry, I went off track there. But, um, I got to the part, I went past the part already where she, like, caused the death of Dong Zhuo and everything. Righteous, man. That woman is, like, good in her. Like, it almost at times made me hate her and, like, feel bad for Lu Bu and Dong Zhuo. Like, she played her role really good. Huang Gai at your service. Oh! Don't think this old dog hasn't learned any tricks. Alright, bro. Welcome. We needed a fourth, uh, non-generic, so that works out. Okay, so now we're full on the troop strength here. We're going to keep the monies the way they are until we can get more area. 
So next on the itinerary is... Oh, we're fighting Liu Young. Oh, is both these territories his? I didn't even pay attention to that. Right, let's play as... Uh, this should be a bit better now, seeing as how... Uh, he's got a better weapon and we have our training now. What's funny about siege battles is that there's always a place in the castle walls where it enables you to use a grappling hook despite the attempts to prevent it. I haven't ran into that, actually. Believe it or not, I have not run into that possibility for me. I got ruined every single time. I tried to go around every side of the castle and everything, and they did not let me do it. Siege battles in that game, regardless, just suck. It's not even the fact that you could skip them, because I don't mind the fact that you can't skip them. It's just, like, the fact that the siege battles suck so much that you feel like you need to skip them. That's what they need to change. Like, it's really not good. Um... I guess we'll do this one since it gave it to me twice. All right, move to the attack. Give it all you've got. Hey, do y'all remember when uh, Sunsei had a red hair? Me too. All right, so we at least got the, th the level three Renbu, so this should be okay. And again, we're only playing on normal difficulty. I didn't feel like doing anything crazy. Get up there, you freaking loser. It still feels weird singing with a spear, but it, I guess in, in terms of this design, I guess maybe just because I'm so used to it. I should have dodged. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, yeah. Got braced. Duh. But in terms of this design, it's like, it's fitting. Because I couldn't see him with Tonfus with this outfit, in my personal opinion. But the spear actually works okay with his design in this game. But, like, aside from that, I'm like, eh. That's another base for Sunsei. It feels good to hear Yuri's voice for Sunsei. It feels right. I freaking love Yuri. He does so much good work. What a lad. A lad who is much older than me, but still, what a lad. Uh, I am so sorry if I pronounced his name wrong, but, uh, Klasky? Hello. Woo! Well, parry me. How dare you? I'm not even going to use the full Muso bar. Ow. Ugh. I don't need my allies here. I am Sutsei. Also, for me, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but for me, like, this is a really, really good design. But I feel like this shouldn't have been given to Sutsei, in my personal opinion. I think it should have been given to someone else. I just got grabbed. How rude. Guess what? I have that grab too. I missed you though. Woo! I forgot these lieutenants only drop it to one, unfortunately. Drop uh drop the number to one. Just sad. Or buy one, not two one, buy one. These guys are the ones that drop it by twenties. There we go. Ooh, the Imperial Seal. I'll take that and just hold down the boot. Hold it down. We must endure this enemy onslaught. What if I do this? No, wait, this one is the one to tell him to come to me. Uh. Oh, wait, was that not right? Oh, nope, it was the right one. I was right before. I'm an idiot. Here's the guard captain who doesn't matter anymore. I pronounced it right? A. I always feel bad when I mispronounce one. Oh, so you? Yeah, you're struggling, struggling. Understood. Your defeat will yeah, we don't need to go anything. We don't need to give any crazy orders here. They literally, I think, only had like two or three bases. So, talk it up to us. Woo! Smart Chow and Zhong Hei are decloned in DW6 Empire since they spear is now an original weapon. Yeah. One down, many more to go. I think they've decloned most of everyone in this game. I think there's only like... I know uh, Zenji and uh, Diao Chen were st still had the whips and everything, so they weren't decloned. Like, a decent amount of people were decloned in this game. Authority. Ow. And the claws in this game are actually really freaking fun. Dang Haze. I also do like uh, Machao's greatsword. So, uh, even though I do kind of wish he had his spear and they gave Sunsei the Tonfas, because I would have actually liked to see how the Tonfas worked in this game. 
Uh, I don't mind it too much because the, the great sword that Ma Chao has is really fun. It's a really good weapon. I'll show you something. God, this game's so pretty too, dude. Like, it's not, like... Like, look at the uh, the reflection off of, like... Uh, not the reflection, but, like, the shiny reflection off of, like, Sensei's armor and everything. Like, this game's so pretty, dude. I will never, like, give this game crap for its visuals. The like, visuals are incredible for a old Dynasty 360 game. In my opinion, I feel like this game looked better than 7 and... Like, 7 and 8 do look really, really good. But this game, I, my personal opinion, looked way better. In my opinion. Yeah, Sun Chuan and uh, Yuan Shao are the same. Also, why did my screen go bigger? Ah, whatever. I'll just leave it the way it is. I can still see. Actually, no, I won't. I need to be able to see the chat better. I'll shrink that up a little bit. There we go. That's easier to see you guys now. Bum, 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 bum. So I'm probably gonna give myself the time limit of maybe about two hours again or two and a half hours, depending. Like I'm having like, there's don't worry, I'm like still having fun and everything, but I just want to be like, I don't want to like, I want to be able to relax. And I also gotta get the video ready for tomorrow, for Christmas Day, holiday e kind of Christmas. Later, Lenny. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, that's true. There were actually a lot more clones than I remember. I for Honestly, I forgot a lot of those characters existed. That's why I said that. And here's Will. Oh, that's for invading. Well, we can't invade, so I'm going to end the turn. We already did. Oh, we got we got the Great Surge. Hello? That's pretty cool. Let's give it a shot. Let's go to... Let's do Jian Ye. I cannot thank you enough for taking me in. No problem, man. Who's the other one? I am honored to be in... All right, so we got... Three generics now and four playables. So I actually worked out pretty well. Okay. Uh, on the turn. Don't need to attack yet. Ooh, campaign orders. That worked out. Probably just keep playing with um. Our troops like that. We're full. Okay. I'm gonna use Great Search one more time. A Gen Ye. Well, it was a Tai Chi, but not the one I was hoping for. Okay. We should be good enough now. All right, let's take out one long. Wank, wank, shut up, leave me alone. I can't speak, I stuttered. All right, so put in Kwang Zhong, Aishi Xian, and we'll put in you. We'll continue with Sunsei. Christmas colors of red and to spread Christmas across the land with Sunsei. What's up, Zuriel? But yes, you're correct. God damn, these areas are like very easy to capture from the looks of it. Good lord. Okay, we can just start. Uh, no, we don't want Lu Bu's theme. He's not even here. I give me Cheng Bong. Good lord. All right, move to the go. attack. Give it all you've got. The enemy does not impress me. This will be a painless. Oh god, victory. are you kidding me? He's on the other side of the map too. That's rough. All right, I gotta run over there quick. Otherwise, he's gonna immediately take one of my bases. Which he's gonna. Unless I get there really, really fast. But I highly doubt I'm gonna beat him. Oh, well, maybe. But right here, it's going really quick. God damn, right here broken in this game. I can probably just have everyone advance. They're all up here. All right, let's go take out this guy over here. I think this is the guy that was about to do something. Yeah. Don't make me laugh. All right, there we go. And that should give us more of a morale boost as well. Because we stopped a thingamabob. A plan. All right. Oh. <laughs> it's weird. Like, I'm used to... Yo, real quick. I'm going to get back to that topic in a second. But it, it's something to do. It's something similar to that. So I tried to play, and for some reason my saves didn't carry over to my other PC. I guess I maybe had to like bring those over just from my old PC to my new PC. Because I was playing Dying Story Seven uh, Def Definitive Edition. Ow! And holy crap! When I plug, when I put in my 360 controller, the button mapping was terrible. Uh, granted, I was allowed to change it, which praise be. 
but oh my god, it was so bad. So like, I'm trying to remember every button here. So A was for your normal attacks. X was for your, oh good lord. X was for your Muso. B was your strong attacks. I didn't do the graph. I didn't mean to at least. Wait, did they? Why did the music change? Hello? My pause button was a uh, right trigger. I changed my map, which is actually kind of okay. It was uh, ow. Yeah, my button for like changing the map was the back button. And then the to call for my horse was left bumper. And then the block was left trigger, which felt kind of comfortable actually. I'm not gonna lie. But um, I changed it back immediately because I didn't like it. Yeah, 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 when I did 7 on the PC. When I played the Definitive Edition, the, the button mapping was just really weird. My button mashing skills are great. Yeah, I was like so lost with that. I was like, I tried to play because I was playing Shoe Story because I had to redo it. Not that I could really matter. I didn't get too far in it. But um, I was like, where's my attack button? Why aren't I jump? Like, I don't even remember what my jump button was if I mentioned it. Like, the button mapping was just so terrible. I don't know why. I was like, why are these the default buttons? Since you're playing Dynasty Warriors 6 Empires, do you think Dynasty Warriors 9 Pro will be good or is this going to be Dynasty Warriors 9 all over again. Honestly, I can't tell you because they have not given us any information on the game yet. Aside from when it was announced, they have not given us any information about the game, so... I don't know if that's because they're, like, not wanting to give us anything until the game actually looks better. Until they think they can give us something that they wa that we'll like. I don't know. But, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic because their Empire's games have normally been amazing. Uh, obviously... If you remember my four, my Dynasty Warriors 4 Empires playthrough, I was not liking that one. But that was the first game. And, like, back in the day, that game was fun to play. But obviously, when you get to, like, these newer games, it's like sometimes some games just don't age well. So that's, that's the thing that happened with Dynasty Warriors 4 Empires for me. But uh, all their Empires games have been, like, really fun. Like, at, at least when I played them, like, for the first time ever, they were really enjoyable. And, like, even going back to, like, 5 through... I don't know about 7 yet. But five through, like, five, six, and eight were, like, really fun, in my opinion. So, like, they're, even in Samurai Wars, all their Empires games that I was able to play, really fun. So, like, the thing I'm trying to say here is, like, their Empire games have been, like, really, really good. So, like, they've always done justice by Dynasty Warriors, or Samurai Warriors, Empires. So, I'm cautiously optimistic, because it is Dynasty Warriors 9. But it is an Empire's game at the same time, so I'm not going to say it's good. I'm not going to say it's bad. Obviously, we haven't gotten any news on it yet. But uh, I'm going to say I'm cautiously optimistic on the thing. That's about all I can say for now, at least until we get more information on the game, which we have not gotten any. I'm hoping... I'm, I'm assuming we're not going to get anything by the end of the year. One down, many more to go. DW8 on PC has no online co-op. Which is weird, considering DW8 on PS4 has co-op. I don't know, man. I don't have a... Uh, I don't have DW8 on PC. If I could, uh... Couldn't give you my thoughts on that. Weird? Pro yeah, but... I can't really give any thoughts on that. Hear ye, hear ye! Who the f... No! Yeah. You know damn about the Emperor? Granted, the Emperor actually is pretty handy in this game because sometimes they're when you get invaded, he'll be like, yo, get the f*** off my land. Or this man's land. Uh, I'm asking because they said it's not going to be open world anymore. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Honestly, that's a good thing, in my opinion. I know some people were really disappointed with that, but... Open world just wouldn't have worked well with that game. In my personal opinion. At first I thought it would, but honestly, as time went on and I started considering like, alright, this is how they're going to do this, probably this is how they would do this. It just didn't, it wouldn't work out. Open world just seems pointless. 
especially if you're like in a force or if you're in an army or if you're ruling an army you'd be you'd be stuck in that area of like where you own so like i personally don't mind it what i'm looking forward to the most is character customization and game dialogue will look better since your character is talking head compared to a 3d face versus a dw character face that makes sense if that makes sense oh yeah i see what you mean so wait are you talking about like when they're yeah when they're talking they have like an animated moving head now and everything like when they're talking all that like how uh how they did in nine if that's what you're referring to then yes i 100 percent agree some of the characters cut in dynasty Warrior six is really bizarre jiang wei doc yao i know they also got rid of zhu rong and xing sai i think too maybe you just won't work with open world uh in the long run yeah i don't think open world should have happened at all it was cool for it for that one game if anyone ever wants to play that game again for open worlds purposes go play dynasty warriors 9 but i think they said they're going to be done with open world on dynasty warriors they're not going to completely like stop doing it but they're going to be but they said like i don't think for like the, the continuation of the franchise we're not going to continue it anymore but like they're going to maybe like if maybe for like spinoffs or something if i think they said or something like want, that or maybe just like a right whole place. different kind of game they'll do it but for now i think they said they're not going to do it anymore anytime. Like, they don't want to give up completely on it, but they don't want to, like, keep doing it on on this series because they already found out that it's not a good idea to do. Let's, uh, let's do Zhou Yu. I know I only got him to level 2, but let's do that to change things up. Yeah, yeah. If so, if you were... Yeah, since you were talking about the head animations, yeah, that will be nice. <laughs> Before they just make our characters, like, a still portrait. Well, I roll, all the regular characters, like, all talk normally, which I don't think they'll do. Then again, I'm probably giving them too much credit, but I'm sure they I'm sure they won't do that. I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll make everyone be able to have a moving, animated head. Uh, we already did Shang Bong, something different, and Chibi. Nah, I want an old I want an old one. Enough with Chibi, good lord. Is Chibi the only thing on this game? There we go, Dancing Wizard. All right, move to the attack. Give it all you've got. Oh yeah, I probably should keep an eye on who's. Okay, he's we'll over here. What a real, the real looks army like. looks like. Did he go. Oh, he just inspired the troops. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, defend. All right, we're gonna have to do some orders here. If anything, I wish they don't rush making the games. So, whether or not they're rushing this game or not, I don't know. I don't know how long they've been working on this game, but. From the sounds, but from the sounds of how they did their interview before the Understood. before revealing the game, it looks like they're taking the fans' like word, like the taking the fans' like words and comments on how Dynasty Warriors Nine was, and they're trying not to make that. I captured one already. Good lord, y'all suck. But it sounds like they're trying to like not make the same mistakes. In my opinion, one thing that they normally, that they sometimes really did mess up with is, like, not showing the, like, did we capture him? Did we, like, capture him, capture him, or did we just, like, defeat him? I wasn't paying attention there. Oh, well, let's move on. All right, this guy's going to be the next pain. I actually try to click the freaking stick to think if I can lock on. That's not a thing you can do in this game. Oh, they got reinforced. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, they have more than one territory, so it makes sense. Nice miss, dork. Oh, he's actually doing pretty good damage. Also, the staff's pretty fun in this game, not gonna lie. It better be. He's the freaking cover boy of the game. You know what? That's probably why they uh, aren't gonna give us probably a, woo, a new Wu strategist, because Zhou Yu was the coaster boy for uh, Dynasty Warrior 6 Empires, if I'm not mistaken. Technically, he was. Technically, he wasn't, like... I think they considered him like the poster boy because they always they put him through the cinematics and everything. Okay, so that means he just defeated him. Okay. Hey, it looks like we have a chance to turn this thing around. Yeah, open world. I mentioned it multiple times. Um, open world won't work in Dynasty Warriors Nine Empires unless you're a vagabond or a free like a free officer or something. If you're ruler of a vagabond unit, that's one thing. Like maybe you could just roam the land with them. But like, then what's the point of like? doing if that's the case if all you're trying to look for is the open world aspect of the game then what's the point of even trying to be a ruler or a like an officer under someone's rule you know it's like it's pointless utterly fruitless
Turn a game into a DLC Fiesta? I mean, they're most likely going to. Every, every, almost every Dynasty game has been a DLC Fiesta. They gave us like a lot of like custom scenarios, like their own kind of custom scenarios with uh, eight empires. They gave us additional like character, character creation stuff as DLC. So like, it's probably going to happen. So like for people who are worried about that, I guess continue to be or be upset about it because they're most likely going to continue to do that. I don't mind it really that much because it like, all right, that's just more options. Like I know some people always make the argument like, ah, I just could have been in the base game, but we're in the, we're in the realm right now where people or game companies really like to give us additional DLCs or like microtransactions so they can earn more money. That's just how they're doing it. So like, it's, it is what it is at this point. So like constantly worrying or complaining about it. And of course that's your right to, you can continue to do it. Don't even have to listen to my input on that. But like, I personally don't see the point in it because people are, they're good. All the, not even just Koei Tecmo, a bunch of companies are still going to do it. That's just the way it's going to be. It wouldn't surprise me if they actually brought in DLC weapons. They gave uh, additional custom character options, which that I don't mind because I actually did get that stuff for Eight Empires, which I love. Because I actually do use those pretty heavily. That, the DLC uh, stuff for the character creation for Dynasty Warriors Eight Empires is actually how I was able to make Karn on Kuno. So I'm personally not complaining. I appreciate those kinds of DLC because it's like, all right, that just adds more to the game and more I can do with it. That's fine. I know some people always do complain about the DLC kind of stuff that they do, but some of them not good. Some of them are actually pretty damn good. Like let's take for instance, Dynasty Warriors 9. Their DLC for uh, the custom scenarios, minus Sushu's in my opinion, were really, really good. The, uh, the hypotheticals, I mean, for Dynasty Warriors 9, really good. Like, that stuff was worth it. The weapons, in my opinion, although I know a lot of people will make arguments should have been in the base game, I myself included, but they were they were really good, and I still use those DLC weapons to this day whenever I play them. Like, it helps the long longevity if, like, you're like, all right, I think I'm done with this game, and then they give DLC, and then it gives you more reason to go back into the game. So, like, you know, it is what it is. Understood. situation is dire like if it's overpriced that's one thing but like sometimes they give like some pretty okay prices to their stuff because sometimes they're like it should it really be this and then i actually play like some of their stuff and i'm like you know what that actually probably was actually worth the money that i got i feel that actually kind of was worth my strategies are useless here all right i gotta get them out of there they're just i think they're just struggling really bad right now all right, let's have uh, Sun Shang Shang be over there. We'll have, uh, let's, there I guess. Actually, no, let's have you and Huang Guy stick together since you both are already in there. Virgil being five bucks was very surprising, but also very awesome. In my personal opinion, I thought they were going to at least make him like $10, $15, because you, like, you get to play a, the, the game with Virgil, like play through the whole game of Devil May Cry with him. But uh, they only went $5 with it, which was pretty dope. In my personal opinion, I think that should have been a little bit more, but that's just me. I know a lot of people are going to be like, I can't believe he just said that, but I think he could. He, Virgil's definitely worth more than $5, in my opinion. But, uh, too late. They already did it. Can't change it now. Probably could, but don't change it. Don't even be watching this stream. Koei stream. Why would, why would, why would they be watching the stream? Achieve the DLCs for DW8 on Steam. Bought DW8 on Steam, but get the DLCs offshore. Speaking of uh, buying, like, the base game and stuff, I do, one thing I do like that they did, which I actually feel is... I'm sorry, it sounds like I'm kissing their ass, but I'm really not. This is actually just, this is just my honest opinion. Like, one thing I did like about the DLC is that they also did with Samurai Warriors. Um, I did really like the fact that when you bought, like, the base games, like, costume packs and everything, for, like, if you wanted to play with their old skins of, like, Dynasty Warriors 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, uh, it carried over to Empires. That is something I really like, because they could have just made it like, all right, you have to buy this a second time or a third time. But they're like, no, we'll give it to you on the on Empires as well, or another game as well. Because they did that with uh, Samurai Warriors 4, 4, 2, and 4 uh, Empires. For Samurai Warriors. Like, that was 
really cool in my opinion. I was like, I was, I was glad that they didn't go super greedy with that and be like, nope, you have to buy all these game, you have to buy all these DLCs again like three times if you want to have these costumes. They didn't do that. That in my opinion, like there are times where they can be scummy, 100%. I'm gonna 100% agree with it. Some of their stuff can be very overpriced. Some of their stuff just doesn't need to even be in the game. And another thing too that people like seem to not grasp, because I'm because. And I'm not saying anyone here is that kind of person, but if you are, I mean, I'm sorry, you're probably getting called out right now. People are the, those people who complain about the DLCs and everything, but here's the thing. You don't have to get it. That is the one thing I preach more than anything. I'm like, if you don't like it, don't get it. If, you, if you're not happy with it, if you're not happy paying for that, just don't get it. There will be people who will, there will be people who don't. the rest to me. Like, you're still allowed to complain, but, like, you're complaining about the prices and everything and how, like, they're bastardizing you, but, like, did you buy them? No? All right, then. Who cares? At times, I just feel like people just, like, try to nitpick, especially nowadays. Like, nowadays, people really, not even just with Koei Tecmo, with, with, like, other game devs and everything as well. Sometimes, they just like to nitpick on people just to be bitchy or because it's a trend or something. Like, people have been become, like, way more sensitive nowadays over video games and, like, their content. Do some games deserve it? Absolutely. Do some games don't deserve it, but still get it more than the games that do? Yes. Like, literally, sometimes people bitch just to bitch. But, woo! Oh, okay, someone died. blocked that. Yeah, like, just because they take out a DLC, like, you can be like, ah, that's too much. I don't want to get that. They don't get it. Like, people will get will get the DLC and be like, they were forced to do it. Like, you're not forced to get the DLC. Those are the kind of people that are really freaking stupid. I'm sorry. If you're one of those people, I am sorry that you're in the stream. But there are people who decide to, like, just get the, like, be like, oh, man, this DLC is way too expensive. I'm going to get it just so I can bitch again. Like, bro. You're literally just trying to find excuses just to complain. Like, no one's forcing you. No one's putting a gun to your head and forcing you to get the game. Or the DLC. No one. DLC is optional just like buying the game. No one is forcing you to get the game. No one is forcing you to get the DLC. I am it's not the end of the world. No, you're leaving. You're leaving. You're going to take my men. I already know how this works. Uh, increase the player's attack on odd number of months. Uh either gross all right how do we how do we get rid of somebody we got to get rid of diao chan because she's gonna try to take my men and leave all right sorry diao chan you're you're level you're good stuff but unfortunately when someone she joins you like that she's trying to just make she's just trying to take your men and then just leave that's literally what diao chan does in this game it's so irritating because i would like to have her on my army but like it's like the game literally just says nope she's gonna just take your men and leave I bought so much DLC for DW8 Empires. The character customization was fine with the base, but more is better. And exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, some DLCs are actually, in my opinion, good. Like, there were some that like actually worked well for my characters in Dynasty Warriors at Empires. Like, I really loved the. F Wait, what's Master Defense? Uh, sure, we'll put that on just in case someone tries to attack me. But like, that stuff was actually really, really good. I really liked like those customizations. It literally was what allowed me to make Harna, make Kuno. I think something for Light as well, if I'm not mistaken. There was some other, there was some other things that I did like with the DLC for like hairstyles and for like, like the accessories and the outfits that helped me make my characters in that game. Because if I couldn't, I wouldn't have been able to have them drawn out like those two you see right now. Because that wouldn't have given me the inspiration for it. Who, Diao Chan? Diao Chan is very much, uh. She, that's very, like, scummy, yeah. 100% scummy. Yeah, she's a snake in this game. If you, if she is not already in your army, like when you start the game and she just tries to join you, she's literally, like, saying, like, all right, I'm gonna go finish my task that my father gave me, and it just takes a couple of your officers and leaves. I kid you not. She literally takes some of your officers and just says, all right, I'm gonna head out. Where's Odyssey 3 Ultimate has the best DLC for you? The DLC for that, the, I like that they gave DLC stages and everything. That I did like. And the they also gave us the amazing Anagawa stage for uh, Gauntlet Mode. That was dope. That was dope. 
Thank you for taking me in. Oh, we got a non-mon guy now. My might is at your Oh, we actually got a Wu guy. Now, which Ding Fong is that, though? All right. I think now that we have taken Wu, we can now move on to Jing Province. We're not even an hour in. That's wild. And we've already conquered Wu. We're already making some great progress here. I want to be able to get more money, but obviously I got to just get more land to do that, so... All right, so Cao Cao, Lu Bu, all of them have not fought each other yet, so... Maybe we could save all of them for last. So let's go for... Let's go from the bottom up. We'll take Ling Ling first. We'll play with... I'll eventually level up uh, Huang Gai, but for now we're just gonna... Maybe we can just go in order of like how I had them before. There we go. We'll go, and then we'll, the next battle we'll play with Sunsei and then Zhou Yu, and then maybe once we get to the leader, we'll go back to Sunsei. We'll eventually level up Huang Gai's weapon as well, so we can play as him, but I just don't like the club. They bastardized my man in this game. All right, actually, here we go. Oh, actually, I don't know if this... No, I don't think these are older outfits, are they? They're just different colors. Oh, well, well, we'll change it to that one. Gotta give credit to DW9. I know they actually sell the complete edition with all the contents on Steam. Do they? That's pretty cool. I'm just glad it's finally done. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Glad it's finally over. All right, move to the attack. What am I wearing? Am I wearing blue? The Brother, I swear. This is gin colors. This Brother, I swear I'm still loyal victory. to you. Oh, he disappeared. Okay. All right, where did he disappear to, though? I think he was down. I'm mistaken. I'm hoping, at least. If he wasn't here, then I'm royally screwed. Where was Joshu? Crap, it doesn't tell me. I'm going to hope and pray he came this way. Granted, I could also just camp my... Oh, yeah, he did. Okay, good. Yeah, I would have hoped that they would have given up uh, with the complete edition the uh, pretty much almost all the DLC and stuff. Blue is best color. Yeah, but we got to stick with the vibe of Christmas. That was dumb of me to do. I wanted to just see what her outfits were. I thought they were going to give me the old designs, which actually would have been pretty cool to see in this game, but uh, they didn't do that. His life, though. I think there was DLC for this game as well, if I'm not mistaken. For costumes and stuff. I don't know what other DLC there was. I think it was just for costumes. Like, I think they gave, like, Sun Wukong's outfit, Keiji's outfit from Summer Warriors 2, Himiko's outfit, I think. Which was pretty cool. I think I did just make them as Himiko and Keiji. And Sun Wukong. A wonderful display of I might have made a unique character as well for that, but oh well. Uh, the Diao Chen event happens when you deny giving the Emperor funds. If you give him money, Diao Chen never comes and takes your officers. Oh. Well, unfortunately, we already said no to him. Maybe... He nah, he won't come back. Honestly, that was a bit of a dumb move because, um... The Emperor would have actually joined my army. Like, no, you can't, like, use him. But, like, you, he would, like, if you got attacked from sometimes, he would actually, like... He would, um... He would, like, make it so some people can't attack your your territory sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. He'd be like, I am the Emperor. You will stand down or something like that. You've conquered a base. All right. Well done. Thanks, man. We should be able to beat, uh, to take uh, Jing Province at least before the stream ends. Because, like I said, I'm probably going to do either two or two and a half hours. And then the rest of the time we can do, uh... The next stream that I do for this game will probably wrap it up. And we can move on to Dynasty Warrior 7 Empires, which I'm kind of excited for. Because everyone keeps telling me that's the best one. Even though it's always back and forth between 8 and 7 for me. with pe Or with other people, I mean. With the fan base. Because a lot of people say 7 is the best. But then people are like, no, 8's the best. And I will always say, to those people who said 7 was way better. They did a popularity poll. 8 won. <laughs> I'm going to keep rubbing that in your faces. 8 Empires won. But uh, I know a lot of people talk up Dynasty Warrior 7 Empire, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that, how that game plays. I, I don't even remember how I how it went the first time I played it. Is here to save the day. Who do you He's here to save the, the day. Why do you say that so slow? The, the royal equivalent of the get off my lawn. Well, that was supply base? That was easy. It actually does look pretty good in the blue, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, blue looks good on anybody, though. Am I, am I wrong? Or am I right? I'm pretty sure I'm right. I got stuck on a building. The troop spirits are high. Now 
Here he comes. Why is he? Why is he ignoring me? Oh, wait, this is Gan Ning. We need you. Oh, he only retreated. Wow. Cool, Gan Ning, you dork. I wish we could like actually like pick who we get, like in the older games. Oh no, actually, even in the newer games, this is the only game I think where they didn't allow that. No, four also didn't allow you to do that. Your last mistake. My strategies are useless here. I must. DW7 has even more cutscenes, but DW8 has more customization often option, and that is probably why I probably find it better. Leave the rest to me. Also, when we play seven, I don't even think I'm gonna mess with the character creator. I think I'm just gonna go because I think oh, one you have to unlock it. But um, I think I'm just gonna just play with Shu because we did way, we did uh, yeah, we did. Well, first we started with Wu, but since since it's like Christmassy time, I decided to use Wu again. So uh, I know we did Wu Wei Wu, so we got to do a Shu campaign. So we'll probably do that one for Seven Empires. And then we'll probably do my custom characters for Dynasty Stories 8 since I have them made. I think that'll be fun. For that, I'll probably be grinding up some... Um, I'll probably be grinding a little bit for bonus points on Dynasty Stories at Empires. And you know what? Don't... And again, I sometimes say this stuff and I don't do it. So uh, take it with a grain of salt. But I might actually do a Discord stream of me playing Dynasty Stories at Empires. With my characters and stuff just to mess around and get some bonus points so uh keep an eye out for that tonight if not we'll probably do it if not i might just do a, a minecraft stream we'll see though i might just do that christmas night i don't know we'll see how it goes we'll see what i do we might get we might get nothing on christmas day i don't know like we're gonna get the video for it the video is gonna be up after i do this stream but or it's gonna be ready for christmas day after i finish the stream but I don't even know if we'll do Minecraft stuff. I found a nice wintry area. I made a great value Christmas tree by, I, by great, or make I mean. I may or may not have just planted a sapling and then just grew it and put a freaking glowstone on top of it. <laughs> DW6 gunning was cool, then it all changed. Yeah, DW6 gunning was cool, but Dynasty Warriors, what games was he in? Was he in two? I don't remember. I don't think he was in two, was he? Someone, someone confirm or deny for me. I know he was in three, obviously, and then... Obviously, he was in every other game after that. But, um... Wait, we should probably save. Need to get some more territory. Ah, idiot. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I got kind of lazy with that. Uh, after I tried to make one, it literally just looked like a pyramid tree. I was like, that's actually not really what a Christmas tree looks like. And then I just gave up and just planted a sap and put a glowstone on top of it. I was like, there we go. The one thing I don't like about Dynasty Warriors and Empire State is looking children. Yeah, that's that's rough. That I 100% agree with. The, the children that they make in that game is terrible. I'm scared to see what they'll look like in the next game. Oh. I will do what I can, my liege. Okay. Maybe we can play as loose shoot. I don't know if I have him leveled up though or anything in this game. Like his weapon or anything. I guess we'll find out here. I don't think we do, but uh it doesn't hurt to check. Did I miss him? Oh there he is. Yeah, we don't have anything for him yet. That's okay though. We'll we'll get there eventually. Alright, so next battle we'll play with is so Lu Boo tried to invade uh Liu Bei over here, so that was interesting. Okay, so now they moved them back. Why is Ling Tong with his dad's murderer? Hello? Tong. Oh, Andrew Gilliong's over there. Interesting. Uh, Fang of the Conqueror. We should, probably should be looking at it. I don't think I can get anything yet, though. Yeah, we got a great revival. Oh, I forgot about this. This is actually really good. Actually, yeah, there we go. Let's do that. My might is at your command, my yeah, the, the Dynasty Warriors A kids are abominations. He was in DW2. So yeah, I'd say DW2 through DW5 was Gunning's best times. I cannot thank you 6 was good too, but in. then after 6, the downfall happened. Fun fact, Lu Xun is soon say son-in-law. Yeah, he married uh, his and Dakiao's daughter, right? Oh, there's the other Ding Fong. Oh, we got to keep this one, though. 
Let's get rid of, uh, is Goo, I don't think Goo Young's a Goo person, so we're just gonna get rid of him. I could be wrong, but oh well, it's his life. Oh, Lu Bu's going after Yuan Xiao after he said, all right, I can't get Liu Bei, so I guess I'll go get him. Uh, we won't do that one. Oh, Bobby Breeze again. We do, we do need to eventually get, uh, Xiao Kao, because she actually is very handy in this game. Ooh, fire attack, or cold flames. When invading this month, set fire to all bases other than the main camp and the supply base, entering the enemy base. That's, that's really good. We're probably going to do Cold Flames for the next battle. Yeah, 100%. What's Wildfire, actually? Damn it, I can't see. I, I think that was uh, Loose Shoons, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's move on. So we got to put... We'll let... Since she's the highest level, we'll let her sit out. We're going to have Zhou Yu chill if you're here. And we're going to let uh, Lu Shun take part in this battle instead. Because we need to level him up now. All right, let's get the... Uh, let's, get the Ding, let's get both the Ding Fongs in here. Yeah, there we go. They're all unique looking. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh wait, I said we were supposed to play soon. Say next. Oh well, life goes on. Maybe if we get enough money, I'll upgrade uh, Lucian's weapon. If I can at least get it to level seven or six, I think that'll be pretty good. I think we'll only get it to level six though, like Lu I shall use, which isn't bad. Still did pretty good damage and everything. I did a double take on the first one. They're like, wait, what? For what? I wasn't paying attention. Dumbass. Whoops. That. All right. Let's see what we get here. Skirmish? No. Occupation? Yeah, let's see. I wish I could actually hear the music, too. Ooh, let's do Rival. I like that one. Yeah, good old DW3 soundtrack, baby. Victory shall be ours if all goes according to Oh, plan. all right, that actually worked out Move that it was Zhuge Liang and not someone else. Oh no, he's gonna take the base though. Unless that guy stops him. Okay, we got here. Your vaunted strength is worthless against me. Uh, I'm just as smart as you. That's not withdraw. true, but I'm smart. Exactly as I planned. Ha! Such pointless resistance. Such pointless resistance. All right, so the main camp is right battle. in front of us. Now, this is our chance to reclaim the advantage. I'm assuming then the... Yep, supply base is over there on the top left. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot. We could set fire to these other bases. All right, let's have them go defend the castle then. Who is this up here? Ding Fong, I imagine. Andong and Ding Fong, you can go uh, defend that castle over there. Um... Oh, there's all the Ding Fongs are both Ding. Okay, there's a lot of generic. Wait, no, hold on. What? Oh no, it's only two of them. I'm dumb. Never mind. Right, we'll have them to go defend the castle, and then we'll try to take this southern castle over here. All right, good fight. You have two Ding Fongs. That's a lot of meat. I set this thing ablaze! Fire again! More fire! Look at me go! Look at the fire! The fire is eternal! At least until I capture the base, then the fire can go away. Men, have your fire extinguishers ready? Or have your water buckets ready? Because we're not we're not that advanced yet. The enemy will be at a disadvantage without this base. Alright. Um Let's see. Let's have one guy not be there. He can defend the the base right before. Actually, I'm gonna have Lu Shu stick with me. And we'll have this Stink Fong defend that castle, and then we'll have uh, him defend that base there. Okay, that should be good. And then obviously soon say needs to is can set the main camp for now. You battle like a creature possessed. I always feel like the the commander should just sit by the um because. In this game, the main, the main camp doesn't matter. The only thing that matters in this game is keeping your commander alive, which I actually do like a lot. So part of me kind of wants him to just chill by the supply base. The supply base is always, like, covered by, like, actually strong lieutenants, like generic officer lieutenants. And it has pretty good... And the supply base is definitely, in my opinion, one of the most important bases to keep. If not the most important, minus the... Uh... Oh! Oh, reinforcements just popped up here. All right. Oh, 
Oh, did I capture him? All right, that's cool. We got uh, we got Huang Chong. We're getting some green in the reds. We're getting the Christmas colors. And Zhou Yu is rocking some red and white right now. Perfect. I know last year I went way more crazy with the Christmas okay. content, but this year I just... Christmas. Literally, this year just went by... This this month just went by so fast. I was like, what just happened? We're already like a day away from Christmas. I was like, what happened? I literally did the Mickey Mouse. What happened? All right. So, looks like we're safe for now. I'm going to let those guys still chill there. Stop. Stop the pain. You know what? No. We're going to wait on this fly base real quick. Joe Yu, or Lu Shun, come with me. Not yet complete. We're going to take this base first, Lushun, and then we're going to attack uh, Fly Base along with the other two. Yeah, the poor guy didn't even get a move on me, right? Oh, no, that's a shame. Ling Tong, why are you with the enemy? You're literally with your, your dad's murderer. That's cool, bro. Such pointless resistance. Such pointless resistance. I don't know why I thought I could jump immediately after doing an attack. This is not worse, Orochi. Actually, I think that is a, a ability you can get on your weapon. The enemy will be at a disadvantage without this base. Okay, so the next order of business here is have Undong and Ding Fong go attack the supply base. Okay, yeah, they're moving. I'm gonna wait for him. Like oh! Get it? That wasn't even me. <laughs> Did I just fool you guys? Probably not. Wait, where's my horse? Hey, my horse is bigger. God damn, red hair is a monster. I love the design though. I like how the some. I, I still like this kind of simplistic design for red hair. It's nice. I don't like how they went like supernatural with them later on. Welcome back, Orochi. EW6 Wong Zhong looks like he sweats all moisture out with that fur. Gross. Be gone. Well, I know that, yeah, I remember that they said this base can't be caught on fire, so that's okay. My fiery spirit will burn it, I guess. Nope. How about you don't, Mr. Lieutenant Man? Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I wish... I kind of wish that at least the lieutenants would have, like, a different highlight on their thing so I don't have to keep looking around for them. There we go. Your defeat will wipe the stain oh. from my honor. There we go. All right, we just need one more lieutenant or guard captain. Oh, there he is. There we go. From this base, it is but a they were on a full assault? Weak. You battle like a creature possessed. The hell you went in DB6 is proud showing his belly. Is he showing it? I don't remember. All right. Troops, press the attack. Huh. Huh. <laughs> All right. Who's in this base? Your vaunted strength is worthless against me. I beat you. Didn't seem that worthless to me. Exactly as I planned. Would be cool if we get uh, Jigelion, but I don't think we're gonna get him. I think the only one we got so far was. Who did we get? Oh, Huang Zhong. Mitch, try me then. Good fight, dweeb. I'm too young to die here. I must withdraw. <laughs> Such pointless resistance. Who's outside? When did, where's Gun Ning actually? Oh, speak of the devil. Alright. There we go. You got me. Damn it, I want to capture them, damn it. Such pointless resistance. Red hair is the hell spawn in DW7. Have expected Ghost Rider to show up. Yeah, it's a... it's a I wasn't super into it. When I first saw it, I was like, why? I was like, okay, but why?
I was like, yeah, it makes red hair look that much more, like, unique, but, like, the, the designs it had prior were still really good. Of course I have. I'm good. I'm Joe Yu. I'm smart, too. Did I tell you? I'm smart. Wait, let me do the, uh, ugh. Oh, I didn't get to do it. Hang on. Grab it. Yeah! Monkey flip. Good stuff there, Lushun. I saw that. Proud of you. I like how we got Lushun before Lu Mong. That's sad. Bad life. I will visit my revenge upon you. Fire! Ow. Cavalry. In the heat of battle, aha, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, oh, he dodged everything. Ow. I can't back camera angle. There he is. Such pointless resistance. Such pointless resistance. Get up, fool. Why, why'd you get him now? I try to grab him. I can barely see anything. There we go. Strength alone was not enough. Such pointless resistance. I only know how to win. Oh man. Easy peasy. Uh, sure, man. Let's get rid of that guy. All right. We'll end our turn. I got rid of those bandits. Now oh. you can cross the mountain safely. Uh oh, okay. We're stopping the bandit. Excuse me. Bandit Menace, the villagers have sent you items and thanks. Your funds have increased by 7,457. Goddamn. Alright. Um. What does his do? Set fire to all enemy bases that the player enters in the first six minutes of battle. Oh, so his is like slightly better than. Uh, uh show use. But only by a little bit. Yeah, we'll just do that. We're not gonna attack this. Time. We don't have the troop strength yet. I am Lu Ming. Hey, there he is. I was talking about you. Strategies. All right. Um. Who? When did we get Zhou Fang? I don't remember getting him at all. Did he just like sneak his way into my army? We'll get rid of the non-mon guy. How's our troop strength now? All right, we're back at full. I kind of want to get a uh, Lu Xun stuff up. Honest. If it's weapons you want, you've come to the right place. Ah, we got it up to six, come just like freaking Joe use rip. Why didn't I use a card? That was done with me. All right, well, Yuan Shao said, "Screw you, I'm getting that base chaos, back." Knowledge is of the utmost importance. Please grant me leave, and I shall return with the training needed to lead us to victory. Lu Meng has temporarily left service in order to improve his skills. His troop has will be reduced to one. All right. Thanks for coming by. Increases enemy player, uh, increases players' movement speed for the first three minutes of battle when the month went in. Okay. Um. On to the next area. We leveled up Lu a little bit. Uh oh, it's probably safe actually. We uh God damn it, I did it again. <laughs> Good lord. One of the best Lu Mong designs. It's a good one. I feel like it shows a more wise kind of like but like in the older games it showed like he was like just full fledged warrior. This one, he's got, like, some, like, wisdom to him as well. And onward. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, cards, duh. Uh, I guess we have this permanently, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Let's do... There's unaffected by enemy attacks. All right. Campaign orders, force production, sure. And 
sure. It's not like it cost me anything. Alright, now we can use Lushun in this battle. Wherever he may be. There he is. And we'll put in... Joe used good, so we'll put in him. Obviously, Sunsei still has to stick around because he is the uh, the commander. We can't put in Lu Mong because he's very low. Uh, now we'll keep Wu guys. We'll keep it strictly Wu guys for now. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh wait, well let's get a let's get a strategist in here. Let's get Juga Jin. There we go. We'll swap you out for Go Fang. That works. All right. Your Christmas to those who celebrated, and happy holidays to those who don't. Thank you for playing this game. I used to play this with my brother a lot, and considering how life works, you won't always get to do what you could do after some time has passed. No, I feel that. You missed that VA for Lu Meng? Oh, this is uh, Yi Ling. Notice that. Oh, no, it's Wei Yan. He's probably going to be the one to do it, too. He's probably going to buff his, like, everything in the world. Uh, nah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're at Yi Ling, so... Oh, I can't get like that, okay. Hell yeah. All right, move I love to the, the shoe version of this. All you've got. Fight yep. Enemy. Damn it. It's freaking way off. He's inspired the enemy troops. Oh, Proceed with caution. Ow. Do you not know who I am, sir? I am freaking Lu Shun. I don't know why it took me a second to, like, figure out what he said to me. I'm like, he said something mean to me, didn't he? All right. I think I should be able to capture this base at least before uh, Wei Yan gets up there. Hopefully. Probably not. He's very, like... Like, it shows that he kind of moves a lot, but he really doesn't move that far. Aha! I don't flinch! I don't flinch! Suck it, nerd! God, I'm very fast. At least if I get my ass whooped, I'll be able to run away. Alright. Gotta get rid of guard captain. There we go. Oh, whoa! Watch them beat Wei Yan. Alright. I mean, if they do that, that works. Where's the main camp? Oh, okay. The main camp's down to the bottom right. Okay. Alright. Why didn't I grab that? There we go. Were you able to play as a generic officer in this, or was that only SW4 and 8 Empires? You can play as a generic in pretty much any Empires game. You do that in, like, yeah, you can play that in Dynasty Warriors 4 Empires, 5 Empires, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, uh, 8, we don't know about 9 yet. But, um, and you can do the same in, uh, Samurai Warriors, like, 2 and 2, 3, and 4. You could always play as a generic in the Empires games, in any of them. Where's Wei Yan? Are they to get rid of him? Oh, he's at the bottom. Okay, that's rough. Enemy is very strong. We are being right, forced back. I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's see if I can make him retreat. Yeah, every Empire's game you could pretty much play with uh Eric's. Which is pretty cool. Sometimes cool, sometimes not. Like in terms of like Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires and everything. No, nah, I mean, no. Every single one was about the same as a regular character. Some things they had different. Some things they didn't. Me defeat you. Try me then. Why are you losing so much health? Why'd you get a defense buff? I don't like that. Doesn't matter. You're actually losing health really quickly. You want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Get up. Get this piece. Get this piece. Get this piece of me. Get this piece of me. Why not? Get this piece of me. Oh, you tried to block. See, I knew I saw that coming. Leave the rest to me. Woo! 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 We're good. You want a piece of me? Me, me. So your biggest mistake was using a club. Another life cast into the ether. Jesus. All right, relax. Now is our chance to strike back. I do love this design of loose shoes though. It's really good. Pity the bap. Very well. Yeah, we should be good now. I'm guessing the supply base is gonna be what's on the bottom here, but I'm gonna wait till uh get this base first. 
うわっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっ A clown. All right. This shall serve Got as a it. foothold in our path towards victory. Right. Cavalry, move. Wait, you have a horse, my lady. I can't make it. I can't. I'm not that quick. I guess the generics in nine would just use the base weapon moves without the unique attacks. Uh, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Personally, I don't know how. And. Part of me wouldn't be surprised if we just didn't get generics in that game to play as. Sad, sad thing to say, but. We will bolster the ranks. You know what? Just to play it safe, uh, where's Sunsei at? Oh, Sunsei's with me. Never mind. We're fine. I was going to have Sunsei just, like, chill somewhere else. Ooh, that helped drop it. All right. You're just annoying. I know you don't really drop the numbers by much. you think those lieutenants would actually drop the numbers instead of, like, the regular, like, split soldier ones like this one. Because these lieutenants, these, like, generic, or, yeah, the officer lieutenants, they really only drop it by one, which if sucks. Up, oh, God, I think he's, like, in the cluster over there. All right. Yeah, let's have him defend. I'm going to try to preserve my men. Yeah, let's have him go there. Andong, go with him. Oh, God, it was only two of them. I thought they were, wait why is everyone over here? Ah, whatever. All right, let's go take out this guy who's trying to ruin my time. I'm going to let them handle that base. I have take out your You're head. not going to go in there and get that base. Sorry, buddy. Or protect it, I mean. I must withdraw. Back in I go. Cast into the ether. Habity to bep. Habity to bep. Seven and eight did have generic only EX moves. Yes, they did do that. Yes, I do remember that. Oh yeah, what's his grabs? Would have helped if I was actually like on the same level as him to see that. Oh, okay, I saw. What's the strong one? I guess I'll never find out. Alright, moving on. Wait, maybe I'll try it on this guy. Never mind, someone hit him away. Now we can overwhelm the enemy. Did I grab that? Jesus! Keep it up. We need those bases. Yeah, I know. That's why I did it. That's kind of the point of this game, Sensei. Thank you. So they still have three bases. Plus the... And I'm adding the... Uh, I'll beat the shit out of you. Plus, obviously, the main camp. Three total, I mean. Well, I'll take that treasure, though. Me. Get another life cast into the ether. So, are we able to? Yeah, we can. Okay. Bet you didn't expect an attack from behind, though. Oh, my foot fell asleep and I stamped on it, and God, that hurt a lot. It's like when it gets all tingly and stuff. That really hurt. I pressed it down pretty. I like, I like, kind of like stamped my foot on my chair because I'm sitting weird. My strategies are useless here. Ow. I must that stung a little bit. Yes, it's to the ether. Hebity to bet. Oh, and I will say as well, um, for the Discord thing that I probably might do tonight with Dynasty Warriors at Empires. Um, I will be using my mic for that. If you guys want to chat. I, I, I know I haven't done it with, like, all the other ones, so this one I'll put on my mic. And, of course, you don't have to be... If you if you are someone who just wants to watch on Discord, which, by the way, is down in the description, if you want to join it, the WoW Years of Jigoku, a Discord, a server, then, um... By all means, go ahead and join there. But, uh, whether you want to talk on the mic or not... Uh, that, that is entirely up to you. Just because I'm using it doesn't mean you guys have to. What's up, Zero Fox? 
Get your dumbass out of here. That was the quickest commander we've beaten so far. Another life cast into the ether. Ether. I'm certainly not going to lose in a place like this. Battlefield. Okay. Um, um, um. Also, I just noticed we almost hit uh on this on the screen. Appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah, in. My liege, your decision, please. History what? teaches that powerless emperors must be deposed by more capable rulers. All right. Yeah, let's do it. My plans, but I guess I have no choice. I'll be your emperor if I have to. I am now the emperor of Wu. My resource increased by one. No, I've not been able to. I, I've not tried out RP, uh, RPCS three yet. I'm gonna try it probably this while I have. I'm so I'm gonna be off today, tomorrow, obviously for Christmas, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I'm probably gonna try it out within that time because I really actually want to try it out. That's where you play all these games now. Yeah, I'll, I'll be trying them out. I just need to figure out. I just I think I just need to set it up first and everything. Wish Ganji was a playable character. Yeah, he's not a playable character in this game. Oh, yeah, he's not a playable character. At all. I thought he meant like at least as a generic. I see what you mean now. The one who uh, basically gets didn't say killed or something. What's our troop strength? Uh, campaign orders, force production, comp support. Ah, yeah, let's do that one. That way we guarantee no one attacks me this turn. Uh, force production, sure. We'll send the turn here. Hi, I'm Shao Kiyo. Oh, there she is. Don't worry, I'm stronger than you might think. Where's the catchy? Just join the root. Uh, yeah, get rid of key. You play this game on RPC S3. It runs very smooth. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be getting, I'll be getting it eventually. I just, I have it already on 360, so I was like, sure. But uh, yeah, there, I do, I do want to get a. Uh, I do want to install that eventually, and I'll be doing it this while I have uh, this long weekend. Very long. Let's see what else we get. What's uh, yeah, Jian, yay! My voice is cracking. That's why I did that. Maybe. I know in my heart. You are no one I care about. All right, that was a waste of time. Oh, I should have done balmy breeze. Actually, shouldn't I? Yep, should have done that. Oh well. Oh, and I had inner deeds. Ooh, see you later, Lubu. From my training. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Found knowledge of strategy and tactics. Okay. Uh, set fire to the first enemy base within the. Yeah, we'll do that one. That one's pretty good. And ambition, isn't that one also for XP? Where is that? Ah, uh, campaign orders along with ambition. That's pretty good. What's our troop strength? We're not at full yet, but. Boy, we're doing it. Campaign orders. I can do one. Uh, players unaffected. Yeah, 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 that one. That one's really handy. We're actually gonna save here. We're gonna save, and then we're gonna go to the next battle. Damn it! Keep doing that. Boo -doo -doo. Boo -doo -doo. Boo. You know what? F this music, dude. Let's put something more fun on. Put on an old song. Yeah. All right, let's put in, uh, we're going to play soon say here. This XP is going to go freaking high. Uh, you We'll keep one guy just because he's that faithful old guy. We'll let Lushun sit, sit out. Put in the other Ding Fong. Wong Jong, I get. No. Put in, uh, we'll put in these guys since we haven't put them in a battle yet. We'll keep Han Dong in there, obviously, because he's the boy. 
Yeah, it does. That's the kind of vibe I get, too. He's like an old hermit master. Wow, we've already got a lot of this territory already. Okay. Uh, Yeah, we're good. I know. 2021 is almost, almost here, man. Granted, we're still going to be in this whole pandemic thing, but... Who knows? This might be a new breath of fresh air and everything. I'm I'm ready for I'm ready for change. Ready to go back to our daily lives, be able to see friends, be able to just not have to worry every single day about this kind of stuff. Hopefully 2021's a little bit better. One thing that DW Games didn't fail is their soundtracks. 100 percent agree. Their soundtracks are always really good. Do Dark Angel. Move to the or is one of my Give personal favorites, but boys. all of them are Let's really, really good. Oh, he he has a disappear tactic. Oh, okay. I guess that fits Gon Ning's personality. I guess. I thought he would have also been someone like his. They always hyped him up to be like really strong too. Oh, there he is. Where are you going, buddy? I was giving my all. Oh yeah, they're already getting a little more tanky now. You got me, but I'll of course I did. Back. One down, many more to go. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so first things first. Now is our chance to strike back. Everybody, give it your all. Uh, I was about to say, we need to get Doc Yao in here now, so I can do uh, four people. I forgot she's not in this. So I was going to do the uh, combination of Zhou Yu. Uh, okay, so they're at the very end of the castle. Of uh, Zhou Yu, Do uh, Shao Kiao, and then soon say Doc Yao. I think I said that all right. Or did I say Doc Yao twice? I don't know. I'm dumb. Leave me alone. All right, so let's capture That's this base real base quick. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to have them not attack any of these bases because I don't trust these guys. And I'm going to try to capture the outer wall. Along with, or the outer part of the castle still with uh, Huang Gai. We're going to have the generics probably sit over here by the armory. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll let a... Uh... Well, that's not a watch post. This is an armory as well. Okay. We'll have uh, Zhou Yu and everyone defend that armory there, and then Sh uh, Shang Tsang can sit in this armory here. Then once Huang Gai and I finish Excellent. outside, we'll be good to go. One guy's already putting in the work, so that's good. We're already making progress. If I triple Doc Yao, whoops. Better the sisters, what can I say? Fight me now! Oh yeah, they're definitely getting more tanky now. We're getting to the harder parts of the campaign. Oh, I'm over here. Oh, getting the one XP, though. Many more to go. Nice that we're getting 150 now XP. That's nice. Oh, it's Chen Gong. Well, you, Lu Bu did lose, so it makes sense that you're over here. Bye. Right, let's get this base with one guy, and then we are going to be good to attack the castle again. So I'll probably split up the army in half. Have a uh, one guy probably be with me on the supply base. Do you and Shang Shang can go attack the... Uh, Watch post on the right. And then we'll split up the generics as well. I'll probably give them one extra generic just because I don't trust the AI that much. Might be ridiculous, but I have never knew the commands existed at all. Oh, and, um, yeah, Fires games? Like telling them what to do and stuff. Yeah, that, that's, that was basically they introduced that in five. They didn't do it in um four, but they introduced it in five. And it's been getting better and better ever since. Like the AI are more competent. This game is where they. I think this game is where they were officially like being competent. Obviously, people have like taunt and stuff that can probably like ruin that in like other games. But you like uh, Yuri's voice with Zhong Hei than Sun Sei. I think uh, he does. He does great with both, in my opinion. Personally, I couldn't really see anyone else voice, minus the Japanese voice actor, in terms of English voice acting. I can't see anyone voice uh, Sun Tsei or Zhang Hei. Well, actually, no. I feel like the DW9 was was okay. He had like, he still had his like his weird kind of tone of like Zhang Hei or his flamboyant kind of tone, but he also was able to sound more serious at the same time, which I actually did kind of enjoy. But um, I probably would say like I really can't see anyone other other than Yuri voice uh, Sun Tsei. That's my personal opinion, at least. Okay, so here's the strat here. So we're going to have... Oh, Hong Guy's already over there. We'll have Hong Guy attack that base. Yeah, we'll have him attack the watch post. 
Go, you can go join him. Han Dong can go join us over at the supply base. Ding Fong, though. Over there. You can go over there, and you can go over there. And then Sun Shang Shang and I can go attack the supply base together with Han Dong. All right. That's our strat. Let's go. Where's my red hair? Red hair? Red hair. There we go. I also need to get the other horses, too, eventually. But the render distance isn't that great in this game. Bum, ba -da -da -bum. Face me if you dare. Yeah. All right. Try me then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's try this. Oh, he blocked it. You go. got me. Why can't the captain just spam? Why not? One down, many more to go. Oh. That was not my best mashing session there. Now for some fun. My strategies are useless here. Of course they are. Hello, I am soon say. Trying to get in the space now and try to capture it. And wait, a lot of people still attacking me out here. Oh, you want this lieutenant? Oh, you're just a generic. You don't even have a name. You're just lieutenant. Be gone. Habity, babity, habity, babity. Oh, God, that was almost me. Oh, yeah, watch this. I'm doing it to you. Ha-ha. And I can still hit him, even though he's in that, stuck in that animation. That's just cheese. But I like it. Oh, give it my... Okay, why'd you push him away from me, Hondong? The other grab. Alright, let's try to get the space now. Did they capture the... Yep, they did. Alright, cool. There's a lot of them over there. So, Zhou Yu, Hong uh, Wong Guy, I've got your name for a second. I'm so sorry. Y'all struggle, man. Oh, no, they're taking them out. All right. They're going to be fine heading to the main camp then. Let's uh, work with Shang Shang and Han Dong here and get this base. And we should be good. Can't imagine uh, Shao Dun's voice about Kirk Thornton. Yeah, yeah, I got to agree. He, he played with him. He played with him. That sounds weird. He played his voice for all the way from four to eight, right? He was one of the voice actors that lasted a very long time, along with uh, whoever did a... Uh, I can't remember the exact name, which is really sad. But he also voices the cat version of Yodoichi, which is pretty cool. But uh, Zhao Yun's voice actor. I think it starts with a D. I, I'm so upset, because that's actually one of my favorites. Because he also stuck around from 4 to uh, 8. Did any other voice last that long? I don't think any other did. From four, because I know four was like when they actually had be like voice actors stick around. I'm trying to think of who else would have been in there. But I can't remember. Who's in that category from like four to like eight, maybe? Not Lubu, because Lubu was five. They had that other guy. Something smells good. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I think someone's cooking something outside. It was like a fire. You thought I just watched yeah. the side yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm back yeah. for you. Yeah, was there anyone else? I don't think there was anyone else. Parents, so that's his name, I yes. Parents was the one who voiced Dao Yun, yeah. From four to eight, yeah. Face me if you did. Absolutely Face not gunning! Yeah. Oh, that's right, Dong Zhuo, yeah. Huh. Forgot about that. Yeah, you Richard. A.K.A. Raven. Full combat. Wild. A.K.A. the generic. One of the generics from, uh, 4. I must withdraw. One down, many more to go. Okay, so that's three people, then. Three people so far. How do they go else? Uh, Lu Shun didn't, right? I don't think Lu Shun did. <laughs> I must consult with the Elder God. My strategies are useless here. I Lu Shun didn't, right? I think Lu Shun had a different voice before. Or am I wrong? Did he always have the same voice? I don't think he did. Maybe he did. Did Zhang Jiao? Did he just like? Zhang Xiao was there the whole time, really? That was the same voice actor from, like, 7 and 8? Really? 
It sounded so much more high pitched in seven and eight. It sounds a little bit different in eight if that's the case. Maybe he was just getting more into character as the Hears went on. Now for some fun! Uh, Shang Shang, that was my kill. How dare you, little sister. Oh yeah, where's the... Why, does, why is Sun Shang Shang here before Sun Chuan? That's weird. Where's Chuan? Chuan? I prefer Liu Bei's worse than 4 and 5 compared to 6 and 8. Uh, I, I think both are good in their own, own respects. But yeah, I do, I do agree. Like, I do like... I personally like... I like them both equally, honestly. They were both really good for their roles. That's another base for Sun she almost just jacked my kill again, because I know they can actually jack my kill. Wait, did she? Okay, I got it. I was about to say. Ching, ching, ching. Since she did! What a bitch. Hooray! We've won this battle! Hooray! Rock one up to Spider Cop. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have this song. All right, we got Jing Province as well. That's pretty good. Maybe we could take Nanmon. All right. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Before this stream ends, I at least want to see us break uh, 20 likes on the stream. If we can do that, then I'll die a happy man. If I die, I mean, we can end the stream happy lighty. Right now, I'm still happy because I'm having fun, but still. Uh, Lex Lang as Jugeli Young stayed from DW4 to 8. He did! You're right! Oh my god, I. That is sad. Oh, we're here to help. Excellent. Happening here. This shall be. But, 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 why? I'm not even near you. What? Why? Hello? I'm not even near the guy! That's some grade A. rudeness. Let's see who we get. My might is at your. You're a Lubu guy. I don't want you. I know in my heart. You're nobody. Get out of here. Oh, dragons will. Oh, that would have been handy. Damn it. I'm guessing that's our one thing for the. Yeah, probably. Hey, there we go. We gotta get you in here. Let's get rid of. Uh... Let's get rid of Huang Zhang. We don't need Huang Zhang in here. We're woo. We're woo. We're woo. Sha Kiao, Sha Kiao, and Huang Zhong have the same BAs from 4 to 8. That's loyalty, man. And, you know, then they decided, we're just going to change up the voice actor. I was like, what? I know I've said a lot of people as well. At first, that actually was my biggest thing. I was like, they're really about to just change up every voice actor that I know and love. And then they were just like... Then at times, I was just like, how bad could it be? And then I heard them, and I was like, oh... Some of them were good, though. Some of them were good, for what it's worth. Let's keep great searching. I did the wrong I place. No. I am honored to be. No. You're you're literally just like the other guy that just walked in with a different name. I don't want to hear it. How's our troop strength? It's still not full yet. Great revival. Force production. We'll send it with that. Got chaos changed. Uh, ooh, Mank Wo tried to attack uh, Zhang Lu. Or uh, Liu Zhang, excuse me. Yeah, I still like that one. That's a pretty handy one. Oh, we get Recruit. Why is that two? Oh, because the other one's three. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, I wouldn't be able to use both. That's rough. I have the Great Surge. It's kind of disappointing. You're, you're a Yuan guy? Why, why are you here? I think you're Wei. I could be wrong, though. Oh, I don't have any more resources. Rip. Take your positions. Oh. No, no, that's sloppy. Tighten those ranks. Troop casualties have decreased thanks to their training efforts. Allied officers' troops have been restored. Good job, one guy. Proud of you. I think we were already at full, but I appreciate. Ooh, axe. I mean, there. Oh wait, 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 wait. Call me Breeze. Axe. Great search. <laughs> why not? Oh no, there were no officers in that vicinity. Why, why, why wouldn't I be able to use it again though? That's kind of rude. That's kind of rude. All right, so obviously use campaign orders for the battle. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I'll use that one.
Okay. So next is going to be... Can we use someone else here? I think we can use someone else here. Oh, wait. We just got Gan Ning. He's level 10? I remember that. All right. I guess... You know what? We'll do uh, Xiao Kiao for this one. I didn't even realize I had her leveled up that much. Hello. Okay. What that works. What does this do? Fills my Musei gauge faster. That's... I'll get those. Oh, I'll get that too. You're all right, that'll be good. Anytime. That'll be good. That's how we're going to stop that right there. Okay. All right, let's do a battle. All right, uh, so swap out him for Shakao. She will be the... Oh my gosh, she's level eight. What level are they? We'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll do our best. He's obviously going to be in there. Let's put in... I'm going to have someone ferocious like him in this battle. So we'll put in, we'll put in Gan Ning. We do got to start leveling up Shao Kiao, though, because that is that is rough. Put in Joe Fang. I didn't even realize he was in this arm. Put in the other one. Probably going to get rid of that Juke. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. I hit B. Didn't say. Gan Ning. I wish this this is why I'm glad that the new games don't restrict you to only like four playable characters. On Dong obviously gotta stay in there. Go fang and we'll put in the other Ding Fong. There we go. I hit B. The reason why I hit B is because for some reason on the PC version of Dynasty Warrior 7 uh definitive edition, when I hit B, that is actually my A button to like go through the menus and stuff, which is really, really weird. Oh yeah, she has different color outfits. Let's try three. Let's do three. Uh, oh yeah, Dan Wei's voice actor. He was, wait, he was, he was in four? Was he? I don't remember that. Main camp is all the way, all the way over there. Our main camp is all the way down there. All right. It's ideally where should, where uh, main camp should be. All right. So anyone who wants their Shao Kiao content, here it is. We're going to do the, uh, I feel like the more traditional non-mon campaign one is DW4, but I want to do it. All right, move to the attack. I love this one. Give it all you've got. What is she wearing? Is this purple? Oh, they don't have a special thing? Oh, maybe we'll work out. Okay. So, all right, I gave her taunt so she can't do anything. So they can't, uh, walk or anything. Oh, yeah, she'll be fine. I better she'll be fine. That's spin cycle. Back later and try again. It's definitely this stuff, yeah. Oh god, I forgot her freaking aim sound effects. I got reckless in the heat of battle. I must with Suck it! Take this! Ow! I do gotta say this is a really good design for Shop Yao. Not what I would expect from her, but it's a good one. Oh, right. I think I did it one time when we were streaming this for, like, the meme. I was like, all right, you guys get a level 10 Shao Kiao weapon for the meme. Ow, pain. But it works out, because now I can play as a different character to give you guys some more diversity. All right. Her her why, her strong attacks suck, though. I'm not going to lie. They have no reach. Oh, he's behind me. And it's a very slow charge up. Let me see if I can change that. Is that possible to change? I'm hoping it is, because that is that is terrible. Her strong attack sucks. Oops, that's mine. Come back later and try again. Yeah, we're going to be hearing that a lot. Unless I finish this battle quickly. Or they all respond, which is not going to happen. You know what? Soon as they could actually join us for this battle. Yeah, yeah, since I should be able to, because this is a straightforward map. Job well done. Maybe you don't even need me anymore. Sure, Probably not, man. You suck. You know what? Here's what we'll do. We're gonna uh, take out Liu Zhong as well, and then we'll probably end the stream there. We'll see how quick those battles go. Pain. 
Oh yeah, well guess what? No, I don't really need to use it against these guys. They don't they don't really block anyway. Okay, that has a little bit better range, so good board. Hey, we need a bat. On my Steam edition of DW8 XL, it does the B button as an input as well, and I use the Xbox One wired remote. Uh, sometimes Steam controller support is baffling. Yeah, it, it's weird. It's it's very weird. But uh, if I ever decide to get Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends on Steam, which I don't know why it would, to be honest. Um, at least I know that. Glad it works the exact same way as Dynasty Warrior 7. Which... I better withdraw. Come back later and try again. Huh. Technically, it, it feels like it's like mapped like a like a Wii remote because I better withdraw. Or like how yeah, like the original Wii Pro controller. Because the A button was actually the B button. But they were thinking it was like, oh, let's just make it work like a Wii remote. Come back later and try again. Gonna get that a lot. That was not my best attempt. Nor was it even an attempt. Right on first night, her boys. Good enough. I feel like soul leaving my body when I try. God, there's another one in here. Come back later, try again. I didn't have to use taunt. Losers. Are they doing a full assault? I wasn't even paying attention. Alright. Let's try this again. <laughs> there we go. At least that thing has good reach. Oh god, alright. Tiger tank glitched a little bit there. Actually, yeah, I was about to say this, uh, pro part. Yeah, I, I think it's just a Koei thing. Because I have never ran into that issue with any other game. I did a grab? What the hell was that? There's a grab if you wanted to see it. Oh, well, actually, I mean, there is another one, but... Ah, uh, okay. How did that miss? Blow? Grab? Alright, whatever. Get at the next base. All right. Let's have uh, soon they stick with us, but I'm going to have. Uh, I'm sure our generics can handle that, right? Can handle right here. It's generic on generic action. I don't think there's any playable character here aside from Menguo, so I think we'll be okay. God, I love this music so much. Nice Series Three had really good soundtrack. All of them had really good soundtracks. Not gonna lie. Whoever said it, you said it best. They have never failed with the soundtrack. Mines even has a really good one. You just don't really get to hear the battle themes that much because they did it to like... Ow! The only time you really get to hear like the actual like song of like, say for instance, Chibi or Wujong Plane, something like that is when you're actually at like the, like the final main mission of that battle, which sucks. I wish they didn't do that. But it's a good thing that you can change the music now in the game. Get your dumbass out of here. All right. That spitful probably explains why we can't get this wonderful game on PC. Oh, well, it's not even the controller support. I think they're just lazy. That's just laziness. Like, Matt, like it took them how long to get DW7 on Steam? That took a long time. You know, it, it's like still technically kind of recent. Get an ass look, by the way. Uh, how about you don't? We're supposed to share. We're supposed you to share that. You spoiled little brat. All right, let's go help out. Never mind. They're kind of handling it. Let's go help them out anyway. The troop spirits are high. Now is the time to ba -dum, ba -dum, bum -bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum Oh my God! I hate her true speed. Does damage though when it hits. <clears throat> let's try this again. Freaking trips, really? I hate her. Oh. Ow. Oh, there's a lot of them over here. Alright, bet. Muso time! 
And now the spin attack! And, like, spreading. Like a... Oh, like a, a no-no girl. Let's say that, no-no girl. Keep it a little bit PG. I'm gonna push you, okay? I'm gonna push you! Oh, well, I broke your guard. I pushed your guard out of the way. Spin, spin, spin! I'm Kunoichi. I need that health, though. Not gonna lie. There we go. Look at my man putting in the work. Oh, one guy kind of put in the work. He annihilated all the other officers. Ready? One, two, three, attack. Very well. That was her jumping when she said it. <laughs> Great King! Lee! So, you're, you're next! next. I'll, I'll crush you. you! By the way, I really do like the non-mon outfits in this game. They're really good. Come back later and try, again. try again. Get it. You should come back later and try again. There we go. God, her strong attacks suck. The end, the end is good, but the, the rest of it sucks. Her normal attacks are good, though. I think one input is where she hits twice, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. I think so. They flinch only once, but she does like multiple hits, I think. But that's pretty good. Oh, there's a lieutenant. Coming in just in a moment. Yep, there he is. Get that horse! You're probably crushing that horse with your giant, massive you muscle. Get off the horse! All right, then get off the horse! Thank you. Jeez. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Reminds you of the Hulk. Oh wait, I just realized. Now he can't do anything. Well, he can hit me, but oh, he can do that though. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot he also gets like a coconut tree. Oh, the spin cycle though. These lieutenants are really trying to hit. They did it. Ow, 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 ow. I don't like that their combos are so long. Let's try this again. By long, it really was basically just like the first bitch thing of a Rembu, but, you know. God, her true speed is terrible, dude. All right, looks like I got rid of one of them, though. I want the health. Push! Why not? No! He taunt back. Just ruined my Muso attack. And doesn't help that everyone's beating the shit out of him, too. Get off the floor. Or get on the floor. Excuse me. Alright, time to book it. Time to book Oh, someone canceled it. I know I can guard attack that. Or, uh, or charge attack that, but I uh, got scared. Not to mention her Muso's very, or her charge attacks are very slow. Normal attacks are good, though. 
Bum, bum, bum. I miss those the victory scenes. They're nice. You're not as weak as you look. All right, I'll help you. Meng Kuo has joined you, bringing Nanmon troops. Your force has been greatly strengthened, and friendly officer levels have increased by seven. Okay. Oh, I'm under attack. Oh. That's not good. Uh. We're all weak here, so I've got to put in some new people. Boomong. We'll put in... I guess you. All right. Uh... Actually, I'll, I'll play this thing thing here, just so I can try to get this done quick. I don't want to see what four is now. That's out. Why are you attacking me, bro? Um... Here. Look at that one. This battle will call for all of our strength. You You're wearing like army? white now? We'll show them what a real army looks like. All right, enemy troops. Everyone defend. We literally only have the castle. Okay, well, minus this little area right here. All right, let me capture this base real quick. All right, who's the commander here? Guessing it's Zhou Yu. Yep, Zhou Yu's our commander. Okay. I hate the escorting mission in this uh, game. I, I honestly don't remember too much about the free officer stuff, to be honest. Or just being a vagabond or whatever they call it in this game. I can't remember what that is 100% like. Okay. That was handled. Uh, Zhou Yu should be fine where he is, actually. We're gonna leave him the way he is, so I'm actually gonna have him just do, uh... Auto. It's just gonna set him back to normal, because he does that anyway, so let's let him go back to normal. Everyone else, though, will probably have to defend. It looks like the only bases that can actually attack are these two bases. Front. Okay. Let me... S All right, well, first things first. We gotta worry about Wutugu. Wutugu's the first one we have to worry about. Be over here at all? Yep, there he is. All right, let's have um. All right, so who do we got stationed where? All right, Lu Meng and Lu Xun are defending those two bases. That's actually perfect. I'm going to have take one away from each of their things, and we're gonna have him transfer over to the armory there. The supply base will be fine. Supply base will be perfectly fine. Down here, so he doesn't get near my base or my allies. So, you are You're next. next. I'll, I'll crush, crush you. you. All right. Rid of all these guys. God, it pierces through people too, which is so annoying. It's definitely one of the most dangerous in this game, I will say. I remember her beating my ass when I first started playing this. Right, got rid of Wutugu. Okay, so these two can join me while we attack the outer pit of the castle. And these guys defend the interior of the castle, so let's do it. I think DW6 is some of the best stage designs in the entire series. I'd say this and 3 probably have the best ones. 3 had really good ones, too. 2 actually was underrated, underappreciated as well. 2 has a very underappreciated like stage designing. Or at least, or well, when I say it, I mean the map layout. I must strike you down, lest my plans be foiled. Prepare yourself. Did he just you betray me? In the heat of I must... Did we just get betrayed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, wait, what? Did someone betray us? Oh no, I think it was someone who was uh, 
wants our ally. I think that was a, just a dialogue for, like, if this guy was your ally before or something. All right, fair enough. Oh, all right, well, good fight. All right, since we're handling the south here, I'm going to actually transfer Lu Meng and the other guy over to the base with Lu Shun. That would be you and you. So you both go over there and go help out them. Because uh, we'll, be, we'll have this base taken easily. These bases will be taken out pretty quick. And no one's attacking from the south, so we should be fine. At least for now. Unless they get reinforced, then uh, there goes my plans. Luckily, these are all just archers, so they aren't going to move around too much. These can be rough, though, if you play on a harder difficulty, because these archers can ruin your day. There we go. All right, got that taken care of. So now we can move over to the next base. A wonderful display of skill. Bum, 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 bum. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we're good. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, so that was taken care of. Now this base... Okay, so the south is now completely good. Now we can move over to the west side of the map. Let's take out that these bases over here along with their enemy officers. Where is the main camp? Okay, so it's right below this base here. Or just to the left of it. Just west. Let's get rid of these. This base here. And we'll maybe start having our men move up. Honestly, we can probably have them move up now. They actually got rid of all the enemies. Alright, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to have... Alright, so these... These two are still following me, so that's good. I'm going to have Lu Shun and Lu Meng start attacking that watch post over there, along with their men. We should be good. Da Kui. Oh, it, that is his dad, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Da Chong's. Ow! Alright. Getting rid of this pretty easily. There we go. I must right my earlier mistakes. Troops! Troops. Forward. Forward. This base is all Whoa! Right. All right, actually, this works out because now they're probably going to try to come attack me. I'm hoping they are. Yep, they are. Nope, not today. I think Shanks is too broken in this game. If you get close enough, too, it's going to hurt. But yeah, if I keep this area under lockdown, this should be okay. What I'm going to do is have the two who were following me now defend this base here while I try to take out these guys who keep trying to come around here. So, you are next. I'll crush you. The morale's we're really on our side, so we should be fine. I think some of my arrows are just going in the ground, which kind of sucks. There we go. I better withdraw. Okay. All right, they're still coming this way. That's good. It looks like they're still focused on the south side of this instead of the north, so that works out. Glad they're still fixated on my position. Hey, remember when I didn't accept you into my army? Bye. Alright, so that was taken care of. I'm gonna go help him out with the uh, base over here. Actually, hang on. Whoa! Swimming fast! I'm assuming those two officers will be fine on their own for now. I'm going to try to just help these guys out, and we can take the main camp. I know I could probably just bum rush the main camp at this point, but I want them to know that they cannot attack Leave me the again. Rest to me. All right. I'm here. Oh, they're almost done with this base. Oh, Susu is here? I didn't even realize. All right, hopefully they can hold it down for just a little bit until, like... Uh, actually, I'm probably going to help with the supply base. Supply base always gives the... Uh, 
your allies' trouble. Like, they can never seem to capture it, even with, like, all of them there. I'm just going to have to hope that those guys hold it down. The morale is really high, so I think we'll be fine. But I'm not risking the bait. I'm not risking the supply bait. Yeah, they'll, they'll handle it. They're handling it fine. Yep. Jesus. The dots literally touched one another, and then they immediately retreated. Yeah, so those two are, like, the combination of, like, Guan Yu and Junk Fei right now. I'm glad that the AI are actually able to handle their own in this in this game. That's what I like. I did it! I'm a true warrior of the three kingdoms! Hey! A thousand kills! Let's just try to get this base as quickly as possible and then we'll have everyone advance together. I love the death sounds. You need to be six empire, sometimes running is faster than using a horse. Yeah, sometimes it can be. If you fully level up the uh, ability all the way for, like, movement speed, you'll be able to just use an automatic true speed. I personally don't really like it that much. I like being able to have, like, this, uh, the, the movement speed increased every 10 seconds, which is good, because if you just keep running endlessly, even if the 10 seconds are up, it just renews it. But the true speed is what annoys me a little bit. I don't really like the true speed version of it. That's why sometimes I decline the merchants, because, like, they're going to give me that. That's the next thing they're going to give me, probably. Better they level up my weapons. So it's like, it, you can sometimes want to risk it, but sometimes you don't. Right now, I can technically, I think, risk it if a merchant comes up to me. Because, um... The rest to me. I still have to... I still have the, uh... The speed boost thing, plus 10, that I can do. Alright, now we can finish this off. A wonderful display of skill. I, I, ha I like having the ability true speed, like the one that she has right now. It's good. But like the automatic one it gives you can just be kind of annoying, especially when you're just trying to run like this. So that thing activates really, really fast, and I don't like it. That's why when I accidentally get it, I get a little fumey. I'm like, really? I didn't want that. It's handy, like, if you just try to get around the map quickly, but it's just annoying at the same time when you're just trying to fight and just run around and you still have true speed on. It's like, please, just go away. Good. Oh, never mind. Block. You're smart. I think I need to put Taunt on Sun Sheng Sheng as well. That'd be pretty handy. Get out of my way. How have we still not gotten Sun, uh, Sun Chuan yet? We have still not gotten Chuan. I'm quite disappointed. My strategies are useless here. I must withdraw. Yep. Underestimating me was her last, your last mistake. mistake. Actually, I think we'll probably just end it up end of the end of the stream after this, because uh, there is a couple things I have to do to prep for Christmas Day. So and I also have to do the Christmas video and everything, so we'll probably end after just ended up ended after this battle and we'll probably just do a longer stream over the weekend. We'll, pro we'll probably continue this on Saturday, maybe. Maybe. I don't see anything wrong with doing it on Saturday, so I think we'll just continue this Saturday, make it a longer stream maybe, so we can just finish up Dynasty Warrior 6 Empires. But I also have uh, no other games in mind that I want to stream before I go back uh, to work. Dumbass out of here. I'm getting hungry. Oh, Jack Wee, there he is. With my... Okay, well, that got a little ruined. Ooh, that did some damage. I saw that. We only got five minutes, but you know. Here we go. Uh, it seems my strength alone was not enough. I also didn't pick up that XP over there, but that's okay. Mistake. You guys know what your last mistake was? Underestimating her. Yeah, getting this is where I start this is where the game started becoming a lot easier to get a thousand kills. I guess it could still be seen as a bit of an achievement in this game, but in uh, all the other games, it's super easy to get a thousand kills. Way easy. Damn, that gave us a lot of money. I'm gonna exchange you for gold. Oh, he was the only one we got at the very beginning of the battle. I am honored to. Hey, we got Lusu. I'll replace uh, someone for you. Got to keep the Ding Fongs, obviously. Uh, we'll keep So Fang. <sighs> get rid of. This is what I. Uh. We'll get rid of Juga Jin. Not his time yet. Not yet. Okay, so we got a decent amount of the area, actually, already, just from this one stream. And this was actually a little bit of a shorter stream than I would want it to be, but Christmas stuff is calling me. I got to edit tomorrow's video, and I also got to uh, prepare some stuff for the Christmas day. 
uh, with the family and everything. So this is actually where I'm going to end it here, guys. We got a lot of the land so far, and I think next stream we'll be able to just finish up the finish up this campaign and move on to Dynasty Warrior 7. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll just stream Dynasty Warrior 7 during my break as well. I don't know yet. We'll see. But for now, we are going to stop it here. Guys, thank you very much for tuning into the stream. I hope you all did enjoy it. And uh, hope you all do have a Merry Christmas. Like I said, we are going to be having a video coming up tomorrow. It's going to be featuring Maiko and a couple of my characters that I redid to make them have more of a Christmassy kind of theme. So I hope you guys do enjoy that a lot because that is going to be really fun. Do. And uh, hey, we broke the 20 likes on the stream. Thank you guys so much for that. I appreciate y'all a lot. So yeah. Uh, so guys, again, thank you very much. Thank you for smashing the like button during the stream. Appreciate the support on YouTube and, of course, on Twitch as well because I am trying to still reach that affiliate. If you guys don't have a Twitch or do have a Twitch, you guys should go over there. Go check me out on Twitch because I am trying to get affiliate over there, which would be pretty damn awesome if you guys supported me over there as well. And we're almost at 300 followers over there too, which is pretty damn cool. But uh, yeah, so guys, again, thank you very much. Happy, 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 happy. Have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas Eve for today. Merry Christmas for those of you who watch it later. And I will see you all in the next stream, probably Saturday. Farewell.